Assalamualaikum Hi everyone, welcome back to English class with Ustazah Diaz Today we are going to study about extreme sport Okay, let's start the lesson Extreme sport, also known as X sport, is a sport that is very dangerous and exciting. What is the major difference between extreme sport and ordinary sport? Let's take a look at the example here. This is the example of extreme sports. And this one is the example of ordinary sport. Based on the examples above, we can say that an extreme sport involves a high degree of risk, while swimming, cycling, and so on are classified as ordinary sports because the risk involved are minimal. Here are some examples of extreme sports that are absolutely insane. Number one, bungee jumping. Number two, cafe. Number three, mountain biking. Number four, canoeing. Number five, wind surfing. Number six, paragliding. Number seven, snowboarding. Caffeine. People go under the ground or inside mountains. They climb into big holes that go down for many kilometers, and they use lights and ropes. Paragliding People use a parachute to go up. They take off from a mountain with a special parachute that can travel with the wind. When there is no more wind, the flyer has another parachute to bring him or her down again. Wind surfing. People have their own spatial support with a sail that they stand on. They hold the sail and wait for the wind. When the wind comes, they race across the sea. Bungee jumping. In this extreme sport, people tie a special cord around their ankles. Then, they jump off bridge and fall towards a river or the ground. Before they hit the water or ground, the cord stops them from falling any further. Mountain biking Here, people take their bicycle off the road. They ride up and down the mountains and through rivers and forests. Canoeing People come down a mountain following the flow of water. They climb down, swim down, and sometimes fall down. Snowboarding These people climb a snowy mountain first, and then slide down very quickly on the most dangerous parts of the mountains. Okay, I give you 10 seconds to answer all of the questions. After that, I will show you the correct answer. Good luck!